periodontal disease is the inflammation of some or all of a tooth's deep supporting structure, and today it is the most common disease seen in dogs. This is a drawing of a healthy oral cavity of a dog. The gum line or gingiva should appear pink. The area of the tooth that is visible above the gum line is called the crown of the tooth. The area below is the reserve. In a healthy oral cavity, there should not be any buildup of material on the crown of the tooth. However, if food particles and bacteria are allowed to accumulate along the gum line, this can form plaque. Plaque is a mass of bacteria that is firmly adherent to a pellicle on the enamel of the tooth. And this pellicle is derived from saliva and is a mucopolysaccharide matrix. The best way to remove plaque is by brushing it. The formation of plaque can cause gum irritation as well as an inflammatory condition called gingivitis. Gingivitis is evidenced by a reddening of the gum line just bordering the teeth. Gingivitis is considered an early stage of periodontal disease. However, it is reversible if properly treated. After an extended period, the plaque will mineralize and become calculus. Calculus is a brown substance that you will see on an affected tooth. The minerals that form calculus come almost exclusively from saliva, and thus deposition is heaviest near the salivary glands. The product duct bathes the upper premolar forward tooth with saliva, and thus this is one of the first teeth that you will see affected. Calculus will build up and extend beyond the gum line, separating the gum line from the alveolar bone. This is a drawing of a healthy tooth as well as a tooth that has calculus buildup. Calculus will cause pockets to form between the teeth that foster bacterial growth, leading to the loss of connective tissue and bone. Once this occurs, the dog has irreversible periodontal disease. There are many severe consequences of periodontal disease. One of them is that the disease will eat away at the bone until it reaches the nasal cavity, forming a hole between the oral cavity and the nasal cavity. This is called an oral nasal fistula. Another severe consequence is that the disease will cause the bone to weaken and cause a jaw fracture. Periodontal disease affects dogs of all ages, though it is more common in older dogs. The disease has serious consequences, but it can be easily prevented by simply maintaining good oral health of your pet.